Four women are in jail on felony prostitution charges tonight for sex acts inside Toledo massage parlors and spas. The arrests come after several undercover operations. WTOL 11 went to the summer massage spa on Lasky and Secor, which was closed today, a day after Toledo police and SWAT served search warrants. After three o'clock, there was 20 to 30 police officers that were raiding a place right near mine. Matt Tyson owns a business nearby. He couldn't see what or who police brought out of the spa. There's just too many officers. There's a bunch of them. SWAT, other officers around. And they stuck around for about an hour. We did talk to a couple employees of businesses on Lasky who said they can't believe the place was finally busted. According to the arrest warrants, 56 year old Xiao Yun Gu admitted to managing Summer Massage Spa, which operates to provide sex acts for money. The arrest warrant states Gu and her employees solicited multiple undercover officers during the investigation. But there's more. 49 year old Jawan Tao is charged with soliciting and prostitution. Arrest warrants show Tao operated a massage parlor as a brothel with other employees taking money for sexual activity. The document also states Tao offered to masturbate an undercover officer for $60. 62-year-old Young Mi Stone is accused of offering sex acts out of YG Massage on Secor Road. Police say it's a brothel and Stone acted as a manager during officers' undercover operations. She knew where the money was placed by employees after they completed sexual acts and received a weekly salary from the owner of the brothel. Another woman was performing sexual acts for money there. And 68-year-old Kisan Hood is accused of managing a brothel at 135 South Burn Road. The arrest warrant states she admitted to promoting prostitution while managing a brothel. The women are in jail on $10,000 bond each and are due in court next month. Now, experts with human trafficking groups say this is a much bigger problem. According to the Polaris Project, this is a nearly $3 billion a year industry here in the U.S. There are 9,000 illicit sex parlors operating in 1,000 U.S. cities. And Governor Mike DeWine revealed a new program to help survivors of human trafficking. As of today, any nonprofit in need of support can apply for funding to help sex and labor trafficking victims. The money can be used for mental health, education and employment, or to help find a place to live. Applications can be submitted through the Ohio Department of Public Safety's Office of Criminal Justice Services.